I am so pissed. I am so pissed. And I'm smiling because I'm, deep down, I'm going to roast you all. I'm going to roast you all. Because you forced me to make this video. You literally forced me, you're really forcing me to make this video after part one of the WWE rant. I love when you watch a mirror TV, and uh, yeah, I shaved I shaved it off. So yay! Um, if you saw last night and Elimination Chamber, which was last night, I can't believe I'm saying, and tonight Monday Night Raw. <laughs> oh boy, everyone was so pissed. Everyone was so pissed. Don't get me wrong, tonight was entertaining. Tonight was an entertaining night, and I actually liked Raw tonight, but it was not good to the point where we were trolled. Like, we, we were trolled, we got duped, we got trolled. Oh my god, we got so trolled to the point where everyone started to lose interest in WWE, and people are starting to hate WWE. And this topic is this <clears throat> number one what in God is wrong with you people creative writers Vince McMahon what is wrong with you can't you just can't you just listen to your fans for once I, this was a match card that everyone was predicting John Cena Versus The Undertaker. Everyone was hoping for this match. Right? It has been going on since WrestleMania 33. Even before WrestleMania 33. Hell, even the Royal Rumble 2017. People wanted to see that match all year long. What they got? Roman Reigns versus The Undertaker. Which, supposedly, we, th he, we thought he retired. He, we thought he retired. But he did not retire. Nope. Nope, he showed up at Raw 25 at the Manhattan Center. And then, oh, tonight, John Cena had a segment where he was he was uh, self-promoting his promos to the, where about Road of WrestleMania 34. Everyone was hoping that The Undertaker was going to come out and they're going to have a few that they're going to go all the way to WrestleMania and then they're going to have a career versus career match. Everyone was hoping for that. Everyone was hoping for that match. Instead, we got duped. We got trolled. We got trolled to the point where everyone was furious on social media, especially on Twitter. That just shows that WWE does not even connect well with it, with their fans. They're out of touch with their fans. They don't care. They only make... They only do this to make money. Hell, oh, by the way, there was even a merchandise sale with the ring, WrestleMania 34 ring in Louisiana, New Orleans. And what are the figures in the ring? John Cena versus The Undertaker. So, there's a tease, right? There's going to be a match between those two, career versus career match, at WrestleMania 34. Wrong! Wrong! We got to promote where John Cena is going to go to SmackDown Live tomorrow night. And then he's going to figure it out from there. And which means an option B is he's going to be a 17-time world champion at WrestleMania in a triple threat match versus AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura. If that happens, do not be surprised if you're going to lose that much money because you totally dropped the ball with the fantasy match. What could have been a five star match turned into a one star match. The greatest of all time turned to be an awful booking. You got, you, you got. Hell, I could even run it better than Fisher Man can. Because I'm willing to listen. I'm willing to. I know the talent. I know the talent. 
Does he? No. No, he doesn't. Doesn't even listen to the fans one bit. He claims he does in a Stone Cold Pat Com podcast, but he doesn't. He does not listen to the fans. And that's something you have to realize. Listen to your fans, and your show will be better. And what do you do? You, you, you don't even listen to it one bit. And, it, and, that, and that, it's sad, too, because they know what's going on. They know how to, how to make WWE great. And you, all you care about is, oh, all you care about is making these. All you care about is making these, right? That's all you care about. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> I know what you're doing, folks. I know what you're doing. Don't think I'm stupid. People, don't. You gotta realize something, these. And I'm not even. I'm not even exaggerating. You can look it up on YouTube. Do not think we're stupid. Because. I saw the videos where you edit crowd reactions. Are you crazy, folks? You edit crowd reactions? How does that make sense? There was a video of Roman Reigns being booed out of misery because he he took the belt away from Brock Lesnar before Mania 31. He was being booed out of misery. And he, the next clip, <laughs> it was on the network, too. <laughs> <laughs> they had they had a crowd cheers, crowd cheers. How do you do that? You can't do that on a live television show, on a USA Network. That that, that drops the ball. That drops the ball that you're as desperate as it as it gets, desperate as it gets. And you don't even care. You want to book the guy to be the top guy. You want to book him and. People don't want it. You gotta realize that. People do not want to see Roman Reigns as a top guy. And you and you just continue to push him. This is what they say. Do not push Roman Reigns too many times. Turn him heel. What did you do? You, you, the two things that people wanted, you did the opposite. You keep pushing the guy. And you will not turn him heel. And that Roman Reigns... And John Cena, Undertaker, I think, was not the only complaint. I have millions of complaints about Vince Man not listening to the fans. He's a liar, and oh, he does whatever it takes to get money. And I'm not putting him on the spot because I'm making money. I understand that he does whatever it takes to make revenue and income. But it's ridiculous. You don't care about your wrestlers. You don't even know how to use talent. You don't know how to even book a proper match. You don't even know how to make a dream match. AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura is one of those dream matches where you should have done it a while ago. You should have announced it to the point where that it's going to be up to WrestleMania 34 until August. Until it was announced on August that the rumors that AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura is going to happen. And that's great. You did that. People want to see that. But... But now I'm but now I'm worried so much that John Cena is gonna take that away. And that Sorry for a little cut folks. There was a um my phone kinda of ran out of storage, so I deleted some things. But anyway, I'm I'm worried to death that John Cena is gonna take that all away. Because he's going to SmackDown and to try to get the opportunity for the championship match. Imagine this is a six pack match at Fast Lane. That would not be fair! You know what you could have done? Listen to the fans. That's all you could have done. Listen to the fans. Oh, and by the way, that pay-per-view was so predictable. I like that pay-per-view. It was entertaining. But my problem, my problem with that pay-per-view, it, it's too predictable. It was so predictable. And I don't like predictable pay-per-views. I want it to be surprising. I want it to be much more entertaining. I want it to be a dream match. I want it to be a spectacular one. A wonderful one. Another thing too, you don't even know how to how to make good careers. You just ruin careers as like you own them. And you do own them. You have a, you have every right to own it. But you do not use it properly. You ruin careers like Finn Balor. You ruin a career like Cesaro. You even ruined a career 
like freaking Shinsuke Nakamura. And if the people don't even see that they ruined Shinsuke Nakamura, take a look at what happened last year. They booked in the match against Jinder Mahal where he got killed twice. Only for Indian marketing. And that went down the drain. And they had to finally realize it before Survivor Series. You gotta think. You gotta think, guys. You really gotta think. And there's one way to think, and that's to listen to your fans. Simple. It's simple. It's simple enough. Listen to your fans. Give them what they want. That is it. Now you have a great company. Or your market will lose before you know it. And if you, go, if you can't do any of those things, well, you're crap out of luck. Should have, should have taken the fans' advice. Should have taken my advice. And you should have taken Triple H's advice. This is James, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.